financial intermediary fund that will support international initiatives to prepare the world for the next pandemic, following lessons that it has drawn from COVID-19, said its finance minister. Indonesia's finance minister, Sri Mulyani, was speaking to more than 300 key dignitaries, academics and business leaders at the Indonesia-Singapore Business Forum held at Hilton Singapore Orchard Hotel. The forum, organized by the Indonesian Embassy in Singapore and the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, saw attendees participate in discussions on topics such as healthcare, digital transformation and sustainability. In her keynote address, Sri Mulyani noted that research has shown that COVID-19 will not be the last health challenge that the world will face and the countries must be able to meet this challenge together. Education reform in addition to our strengthening social safety net and equal. With the current trend of the geopolitical trends, we do also see that food and become the theme for all countries now. So the policy to promote food estate program in order for us to be able to create a new food production center has been uh, initiated. Whether this is not only centralized in Java Island, which is uh, being recognized as the most fertile land, but we, also, we are not only trying to fulfill the demand, unfortunately. Meanwhile, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen held a series of meetings with Israeli politicians on Monday as the EU continued efforts to look for alternative energy sources amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Von der Leyen met with Foreign Minister Yair Lapid in Jerusalem before holding tax with Energy Minister Karin El Harar since the war began in February. The EU has slapped several rounds of sanctions on Russia and has been looking at ways to replace that country's energy. The bloc gets about 40% of its natural gas and 25% of its oil from Russia. It's hoping Israel could prop up the EU's energy needs as it wins off Russian energy. In recent years, Israel has exported higher levels of gas after the discoveries of shore. Last month, EU leaders also voted to ban 90% of Russian oil by the end of the year.